uh, I, I met with Prime Minister Asa this afternoon, but he had had a very substantial meeting at Davos uh, with our Prime Minister, which followed on a meeting that they had had at the Washington summit. And both of them talked then, and Prime Minister Asa talked to me again today, about the need for ambition in this summit. Uh, the need first to finish the work that was begun in Washington of trying to better regulate the global financial markets, to extend regulation to those parts of the financial industry that had shown that they were very heavily undercovered in terms of how this crisis emerged. Hedge funds, uh, certain categories of mortgage lenders, those who deal with ever more complex derivatives uh, whose risks are not fully understood. All these sectors of the financial market need to be effectively regulated wherever they are located in the world. So we need greater transparency and regulation of markets. We also need greater surveillance of markets. And so again, the, the Washington summit came up with, uh, with, with proposals uh, that would come up with codes um, for, a, a, for how these markets might operate, but on the surveillance side, uh, the IMF, the Financial Stability Forum, uh, and other institutions be more effectively used uh, to give early warnings of crises as they emerge. That work, which was all commissioned from uh, the different working groups set up in Washington, will report back to the London summit. But beyond sorting out the market, the financial markets, which as I said at the beginning was really the apparent agenda in November, it's now become extremely important to also have a plan for coordinated macroeconomic recovery, uh, both to look at how we can collectively work to more effectively stimulate our economies at the global level, and how in the longer term we can address uh, the imbalances between the nations that save and those that borrow and spend uh, so that we don't again get into this kind of difficulty in the future. Third, how we can ensure that the response at the national level to this crisis is not protectionist in character, that we can prevent protectionism again rearing its head and indeed can push forward the free trade agenda of the Doha round. And fourth, that we work to uh, secure uh, a low carbon recovery. In other words, that the steps we may take on, on the macroeconomic side uh, in terms of, uh, of recovery, uh, in terms of public investment in infrastructure around the world, public investment in, uh, in new energy sources, that this is done in a way that encourages progress towards the climate change goals that we're also trying to establish this year. So it's an ambitious agenda. Some of the very specific things that will be looked at are the reform of the World Bank and the IMF so that they can help carry forward this agenda, not just of surveillance of markets in the case of the IMF, but how the IMF and World Bank and the regional development banks including the Asian Development Bank, can be equipped and resourced uh, to play a very leading role in making sure that credit and stimulus uh, tools are available to middle-income and poor developing countries. So a lot to get done in London, but all with a strong sense of the shadow of history over us. Uh, that. Uh, We've been there before, as many commentators have observed, and the desire not to repeat the mistakes of the 1930s, but to instead have leaders come together in a well-prepared but ambitious way to set a roadmap forward which will draw us collectively out of the recession that our economies are sinking into. Let me stop there. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.